Hey, what is going on to Nintendo Nation? Welcome back to my Pokemon Moon Let's Play. We are on to episode 5 and we're going to do some interesting things this episode. So first of all, I want to get through this route first. But I've downloaded, or I say downloaded, I've scanned um, 10 QR patterns, which means we can do an island scan and find a rare Pokemon. So I want to get rid of all these trainers first so we won't be interrupted by any of them. And I just realised that the Bounce Suite trade isn't till the second island, so I completely forgot that. But we will get that when we can. Uh, definitely a really good Pokemon to have on your team. And traded Pokemon level up quicker, so it's a really helpful thing to have as well. Just because they will get to a high level. Might even overtake Brionce or Brion or Brion, whatever we're calling it so far. Uh, I will nickname it Brionce, hopefully at some stage. Even if it is a, a male Poplio. So... Just get rid of these trainers, but so far, guys, this game is fantastic. Like, so much better than X and Y. I can't even describe it. I've not even been online yet, though, and that's something I really enjoyed about Pokemon X and Y. Going online, doing trades, battles and stuff. I will be doing that. I just want to kind of settle down and just play the game. I've not even touched Pokemon Sun yet, and I really need to play it because that's what I'm going to do, like, my live streams on and my battles and stuff. I've just not had a chance to uh, play it yet. I've been so busy this week. It's like... A tough week in terms of uh, getting just sitting down and recording so I want to get that done but with the let's play I'm planning next week just to finish this like just get it out the way not in a bad sense get it out the way just I want you know to get it out the way so I can do other projects that I probably will enjoy a bit more like shiny hunting and original series and top tens and stuff like that and obviously helpful tips and tricks and, and, and stuff like that. I, they're the kind of videos I enjoy more. I'm not really a Let's Player. It's something I really need to work on now. Um, I mean, I enjoy playing games, but I, I probably just prefer sitting down, recording, playing a game, and then like editing it, just getting the best bits kind of thing. Just playing and talking at the same time, kind of like a live stream, I guess. Is um, It's not difficult for me, because I do shiny hunting, and somehow manage to entertain a lot of people when they watch that, and they say it's really fun. But it's just Let's Plays are quite different. Just in my opinion, anyway. Why have I used Water Gun? I have no idea. I wasn't paying attention. Um, but yeah, that's just how I feel about Let's Plays. It's something I need to improve on. But I'm sure I will. This is not good. I mean, we'll take this thing down, but I really shouldn't have used Water Gun. We'll go Echoed Voice. And it should take around two hits to take it down. Hopefully. Yeah. That's the only problem, Mega Drain. We're going to have to give you a potion, Beyonce. Because... Oh, this might take three hits, actually. I'm not sure if it's going to do enough. Come on. That's surely. Yes. Okay, cool. We'll, uh, we'll just quickly heal it up, because there's no Pokemon Center on this route, and I really don't want to track back. Especially, we don't have Tauros yet, so it takes a while to walk. I forgot how slow walking is in Pokemon. So... Question of the day to you guys, obviously I was saying how good uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon is, and I I'm sure there's people watching it who haven't played it yet, but I want to know, for some reason it won't let me use Potion, there we go, um, what your favourite Pokemon game is, it could be from any generation, uh, I I'm talking about the main games really, none of the spin-offs for now, because I just want to kind of focus on the, uh, the generations kind of aspect, uh, but I I'd say mine is Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Generation 4 was my favourite. Had Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Are we supposed to go here? Yes, we are. Cool. I, I just I thought we weren't supposed to go here. And we found Lily. I forgot she was lost. <laughs> We're supposed to find her. But uh, yeah, Generation 4 is my favourite. I just think the art style is the best. and It's pretty much everything about it. It's fantastic. Oh, there's Nebby over there, right in the distance. Nebby? Nebby, come back! Ah, James. Nebby ran off into the meadow here. Little cheeky monkey, look at it. Or it, I guess. It's not got a gender. But I love Cosmog. As you guys know. And right after it got into so much trouble on the bridge too. What if a wild Pokemon attacks it? It doesn't have any moves it can use to battle. That's a problem. Because um, I really wanted to get Cosmog on my team and just do like a really funny like online video of just, you know, Cosmog and Wi-Fi battles. But I think it can only learn Splash and Teleport. Which makes it really disappointing. Oricorio! One of my favourite Pokemons this generation. Um, the Pom Pom one, anyway. We may already have an electric type. Okay. But, I really want one of these on my team. 
We'll go pound. I don't think that will knock it out. Oh, that's good. So probably his attack is really low. I could have probably used another move. But I, I want to make sure we get this. Oh, nice crit. One more, and then we'll throw a Pokeball. That's it. But yeah, it's... I've used an Oricorio on my first Let's Play. And... Uh, not Let's Play, but sorry. Playthrough of the game. And it was good. For the most part. Well, it got really good eventually. But I, I say it was kind of... For a while, it, it wasn't doing much for me. It didn't really learn any... It doesn't even learn any electric moves. Because I think you can change the form of them whenever you want. With the Nectar. So... It took me a while to actually, because obviously you find electric TMs really late on, like Thunderbolt is like on the last island, I think. Um, in fact, all the good TMs are on the last island, like Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, stuff like that. Um, so it has a move called Revelation Dance, it learns in late 30s or at least 30. And, and that's obviously what type it is, uh, depends on its form. So this is an electric type Oricorio. So it used electric, like it learns its first electric type move um, at level 30. So that was kind of a struggle, but it's a really good Pokemon. So I definitely want it on my team. I love its design. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the Nectar. You'll find the different types of Nectar, but I'm assuming you can change its form. I've not tried it. And I'm just going off, you know, what that should be. I mean, what else would it be for, that Nectar, if you can't change its form whenever you want? And it would make sense why it can't learn, like... A certain type of moves when it's leveling up because you can change it it wouldn't make sense for like the fire one to have electric type moves and stuff like that so it's pretty interesting an interesting pokemon i really like the idea of it so we've got one of them now we just need to save nebby i really want a shiny one of these actually i think i'll have to hunt for one of these eventually now once we've saved nebby i'm gonna do the island scan and we'll see if we can find a rare pokemon i know cinderquills around here so I really want that, because we need a fire type, because my first let's play, I keep saying let's play, my first playthrough of Pokemon Moon, I couldn't find any decent fire types. I'm sure there are some, uh, I just couldn't really find any, so it would be good to get a fire type on our team. We don't want you Metapod. I do like Butterfree and stuff, I just, Metapod, no thank you mate. No thanks. Right. Okay, also got to mention, because, oh my god, really? Two steps? Um, I hopefully will have another Let's Play episode out today, but I do have, like, the most difficult video to make and edit that I've got to start today, which is finding all the Zygarde cells and cores and then putting them into a video and then putting them into island order. We can't get away from a level 9 one. What? Who could get away from level 10 and 11? Okay, um, so that's going to take a long, long time to edit. So, and I really want to focus on it before anyone else makes it, because there are guides out there for how to find them. So, I'm going to aim to get two episodes of this out today, get that Zygarde video out, and then really focus on finishing this Let's Play off. Although there are a few videos I want to do as well, like Easter eggs and uh, Top 10s. Top 10s will start when a European release date is uh, here upon us, like the 23rd, which is a Wednesday. I really don't think it's fair if I do like all these top 10 Pokemon stuff when, you know, some people haven't even seen them yet. I feel so sorry. Um, I mean, I live in Europe and I, I'm used to like really rubbish release dates. We get it all the time. We got it for all sorts of games. We got it, Last Guardian, we got to wait the longest for. Um, stuff like that. It's kind of annoying. But we're used to it, I guess. Oh, you. Pew? Thank you, James. Yeah, no problem. And I should thank Brion, too. Here, let me at least do this. Heal? Yay. We will take that. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seems the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance. Yeah, they do change appearance by feeding on the nectar. Okay, cool. So we can change our Oricorio whenever we want. I don't really want to, just because I really like its, um, its form, the electric one. The professor, all right, so the professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. So they're going back, um, which means, oh, we're going back with her. Fair enough. Hey, James. Oh, and Lily's with you too. What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my trial. <laughs> hey, James. I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Got 
no choice in it, I guess. Um, I guess that, that makes sense why my team was healed. But after this battle, we will do the island scan. And we will search for that rare Pokemon. Now, I think the chances of finding were like 10% or something really low. Because I I had a look for... Um, I did it once on one of my other Pokemon Moon save files. I just could not find the file. Yep, the file? What am I about? The Pokemon. Why was I saying file? I... My uh, my brain is all over the place today. I couldn't find a Pokemon which was Wimipod on Route 4. I honestly don't know why I said file there. Anyway. I mean, I've just been used to, like, finding all files across my computer, I guess. That's probably why. Um, but yeah, I couldn't find a Wimipod. And I really want one. They're quite hard to get. Right, door out the way, mate. We've got Litten. Or, yeah, Litten. Do you Pichu will run out? Actually, no, it's a special attacker. I don't want to risk it. We've got this. Water gun. Simples. How much damage is that going to do? Wow, three. Yeah, this is no problem. So, hopefully Pichu's getting some decent XP. But we do need to battle with it if it wants to love us, I guess. Oh, we got all Ricorio. Of course we do. Oh, man. I wanted to show off my Pokemon's best side more. I, to be honest, like, how might not be the best rival, but I really do like his cheery personality. It does kind of give the game a bit more niceness, I guess. So you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, James? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. But I wonder if I'll ever really be able to beat my Gramps at this rate. And just saying niceness, I just I realised I just said that. I have no idea what that even means in terms of the Pokemon game. I couldn't think of the correct word. Anyway, hey there, James. Knew I could count on you, yeah. Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. What's this then? How? You finished your first trial too? I bet you used some styling moves. Yeah. Heh <laughs> right. Hal is probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you've got to battle the island's kahuna. Oh, we've got to battle Hala now. Taking on the island kahuna in battle was called the Grand Trial. Someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch that tailwind and blast through Route 3. So if we go downwards, we basically loop back round to the start of the, um, uh, the like the Iki Town. Basically, this route loops round the island. So what I'm going to do. So we're going to use the QR scanner and do an island scan. Are we ready? The entire Mele Mele Island has been scanned. <gasps> Cyndaquil! It is Cyndaquil! Yes! On this route. Brilliant. Now, I do know where you can get Totodile. And I think in the meadow you can get Chikorita there. Ooh, we'll go this way. Time to get Cyndaquil. Um, so what I might do, because this could take a while is cut back to when I find Cyndaquil, but we'll see. First try. Come on. But Cyndaquil's will be a fantastic addition. Delibird! Oh wow. Didn't expect that. I played this game and didn't even know they were in this... Like, in this route. Uh, okay. We'll take it down. I'm not too interested in getting Delibird on team, but I really like its design. Oh, fair play. Oh no! Called for help. Oh, so you can do it before the second island, the call for help thing. I guess it's just after the um, the first totem Pokemon. Uh, wild Pokemon starts to call for help. And that's basically how you um, shiny hunt in this game. Although, I mean, I don't think I really need to do a guide because people have already done it. But I'm, if I find a shiny, I might as well just do it and explain it. Uh, keyboard moves. Pichu can learn nasty plot. I didn't know that. To be honest, that might be worth having eventually. I might reteach it. Uh, so for those who don't know, Nasty Plot raises your special attack, I'm pretty sure. R right, really highly. It's basically like sword stance for special attacks. Cutie Fly. Um, again, not too interested, but it's a cool Pokemon. And its evolution's really good. I really like its shiny form as well. So we'll be hunting for that eventually. Oh, really? So, okay, this could take a while, guys. So what I'm going to do is cut back to when I find Cyndaquil. So, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hopefully this cutie fly won't take me down. 
Here we go. That was quick, actually. Just after the cutie fly. Cool. Um, what level are you? 12. Great. So, pound should be good enough. Could take you... Well, not take you down. Just give it a few... Uh, I think two pound hits would be good enough to get Cyndaquil. But think about, like, Oz having a Typhlosion at the end of this Let's Play. It's exciting. So, we're going to get you. Ooh. You know what? I think that might be good enough for a Pokeball. I don't want to risk it. We've got any different... Oh, we've got Great Balls. Okay, use a Great Ball, definitely. I didn't even know that. That helps a lot. So Cyndaquil should be on the team. I'll be very surprised if it just doesn't work. We'll break out in one. Alright. Like, I know it's got some health left. I don't want to risk it. I'll give it two more Great Balls, and then I will have to risk it. I'll probably use... could use Pichu. Come on. We got it. Brilliant. Okay. Sweet. So we have Cyndaquil on the team. Fantastic, really. Couldn't have asked for a better Pokemon to get. Now, apparently we've got to care for one of our Pokemon here. Who is it? But first, oh. Is it a male? Or a female? Let's give it a name. This is a male. Um, we'll call you Ty for Typhlosion, I guess. Why not? Very, <laughs> very creative. Oh, no, Brion's got loads of mud all over it. Like I said, I'd show you if I could. But I can't. It's the problem with these capture card touchscreens. Very unreliable. I'm sure I could fix it. I just don't want to mess with anything. Mess with any of the settings. So, fantastic start to the episode, really. We've got Cyndaquil. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's disappeared. Um, so we got Cyndaquil. We've had caught two Pokemon, so our team's really coming together now. Um, and we got to burst the Island Challenger. Ooh. I'd say let's give Cyndaquil a run out, but no. I just remembered it's on low health. But so far, very exciting times. So what I'm thinking we will do is we'll beat Halla and then we should be moving on to the next island. It's very exciting. And then we can get Bound Sweet. Bound Sweet? Bound Sweet, I think it is. Um, which will be very helpful. Right, well this is a perfect matchup for Briance. Basically free XP. Cheers, mate. Now, you can catch Growlithe's epic, can't you, on this route? Which wouldn't have been bad, but I do like Typhlosion uh, and Cyndaquil's in general. Uh, Encore, no thank you. Cool. And Oricorio's kind of levelling up as well. It can get a really good move in Air Slash, which, as you guys know, it has the possibility to flinch. And I was versing a Pokemon, a wild Pokemon, and it flinched it three times in a row. It was fantastic. It was so good. It helped me catch it really, really good, so... Can't wait to get that eventually. And I'm dreading doing all this Zygarde recording because I know I've just passed like five cell locations. I've I've recorded like 70 of them, but I've got to record like 20 more and go through all of them and see if I've found them there or not. It's going to be a bit of a pain. But it gives me something to do while this video is uploading. All right. Is it Halla time? I'm looking forward to seeing what moves you and your Pokemon will pour your soul into. Now that you've gone and cleared the, your first trial, James. It's true, I'm not a trainer, so I'm sure I don't really understand how hard it must have been, but even I think it's a great achievement. Thank you, Lily, and thank you, Cosmog. So kind. The Mele Mele Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use fighting type Pokemon to the fullest. Yeah. Might not be a bad idea to work on those flying or psychic type moves. Ooh. Saying that, we don't have any psychic type moves, but we do have. Or Ikorio. I'm, I'm assuming my Pokemon aren't healed. No. Um, I might go heal him. Let's see. I'm, I, I doubt he'll heal my Pokemon. No, we're, we're, we're not ready. Let's just quickly heal our Pokemon. In fact, we've got potions. That will do. We can buy some more, so it's no problem. Okay. We're ready. Should we put Oricorio first? 
In fact, does it even have a flying type move? It has. Yeah, it has Peck. Okay. Let's go to Oricorio. We can start. Although you are like our lowest level at 12, we will trust you. We'll give you a go. Right, Oricorio. We're ready. I have been waiting for this. Well, we've only been on the island for like an hour, so. You haven't been waiting too long. Get him. Ho! I have been expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as the Grand Trial. Well, James, you have been entrusted with the Sparkling Stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me you and your partner, Oricorio, and your team's full power. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the Grand Trial begin. I'm so glad I'm not a voice actor. But, if anyone enjoyed that, I hope you did. Right. We have Hala, the fighting type. Island Kahuna, he's got three Pokemon. Mankey, eh? Okay. We can deal with Mankeys. I think we've... I mean, we've already defeated one before. Oh, level 14... No, I'm not going to say it's going to be a problem. We're just going to keep pecking. Okay, that did only 7 damage. And this... will defeat Mankey. 3 hits, I'd say. Oh. Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that. But it's going to get a crit. So if we get a crit here... Oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to take this hit. But I can only see it doing about 10 damage. Yes. Nice one, Oricorio. So we're going to keep it in, I think. I don't think it can take all three on. But we'll see. Makuhita. No, we'll, we'll go. We can take you down. Right. Just keep pecking our way to victory. Oh, fake out. I'm going to take one more hit and then I'm going to potion it, I think. Oh, we're faster, though. That does help. Oh, can we survive this? Oh, it's, it's like a Fury Swipe move, okay. How many times does that want to hit? Do I think we can take 10? I'm not going to risk it. Let's give it a potion, our last potion, but we have a super potion. It's not too bad. Right, this could take a while, guys. So it does 2 damage per... Um, arm for us. It's hit four times. In fact, I'm doing more damage. Hit five times. Brilliant. Did you not have? Did you have any more like lock, like a heater? Hitting nine hits off in two turns. This. I'm sorry. You're gonna be here while. <laughs> Come on. Oh no! I thought that was it. This is broken. This is broken. Hit five times again. We're going to risk it. Peck, do your thing. Yes. Now we could keep Oricorio in and give it a super potion. Crab brawler. Oh, do you know what? Let's go Pichu. I think crab brawler is water fighting. It could just be fighting type. But if it's a crab, I'm assuming it's water. I've probably got this typing completely wrong. We'll give you a go. First of all, Charm. Alright. You go first, Crab Brawler. I thought a lot of Pokemon was slow. So basically, its attacks are going to be very low. Could use... I think we'll use Charm again. Okay. I completely forgot about Z-Power. This isn't good. All out pummeling Pichu. You better survive. Oh, and it's lowered my defense as well. Let me see what you've got here. Pichu. Survive it. No. I... I can't really complain. Like... That was a massive hit to take, Pichu. I'm really sorry. 
we can take it down. That was the best move. Echoed voice. It's so good early on. And you find it's a TM and you can pretty much teach it to most Pokemon. So I would give it a go. Well, it definitely needs to... Like, up its attack. It's still lower than what it normally is. So we lowered it by two stages. So we should be good. Oh, we're fine. What a foolish move, Kahuna. And we're done. So first trial done, we can move on to the second island. Fantastic. And I think we'll get to the second island. And we'll probably leave it there for an episode. But I really enjoyed this episode. Or oh, Air Cutter. To be honest, I think this is... Like, the first episode I've really enjoyed. It feels like I'm not doing a tutorial. Um, critical hits land easier. So we're going to get rid of Growl. Yeah. I mean, Ori Corio's moveset is really bad early on. But they were the MVP. Definitely. And we're also going to quickly care for one of our Pokemon Quick Attack. So we've got Double Kick, Ember, Smokescreen, Leer. We'll get rid of Leer. I'm not a big fan of like those types of moves like Growl, Leer. They can be helpful. Um, but I just find their waste turns more than anything. Whoa, well played. Thank you, Mustache Man. Oh, no, it's Ori Corio. He's a bit cleaning up here. One day, I will have a working touchscreen. You guys will see. But I really like Poker Refresh. I wasn't looking forward to it. But it actually kind of makes you want to see your Pokemon a lot more. It just makes it feel like you're connecting with your Pokemon a lot more. It's a really good touch. Definitely better than Pokemon and me. And that wasn't even too bad, to be honest. So. Hmm. The results come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer, and what fine Pokemon, too. Even Tapu Koko enjoyed it. Somewhere. Don't know where they were watching for. Oh, I know a mighty Tapu Koko agrees. Hmm. Perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except this Z-Crystal. It allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. I just realised I really need to customise my trainer. Uh, but I know there's like... Obviously, there's a place you can customise in the starting town. Uh, not starting town, the big city, Hawali City. But there is, like, the first city you go to on the second island, I'm pretty sure you can customise your trainer there. So we'll just do it there. You get more choice anyway, so it would make sense to start there. So, first trial done. Fight TMZ. We could technically give that to Cyndaquil. Because it has double kick. That'd be quite interesting. I think we should. Just for now. Now then, James, with this victory, you have cleared all of the trials on Mele Mele Island, the first of Alola's islands. The Mele Mele stamp is proof of your accomplishments. With it, Pokemon up to level 35. Wow, that's... That means, uh, technically, if you really wanted to get this game to be easy, you could just trade over that Ash Greninja. Or something like that. Or just any level 35 Pokemon. That's crazy. Like... I mean, the Pokemon you'll find next are probably going to be around level 20. That's a big difference. Whoa there, Taurus. What's going on here? I've got an idea. How about I set you up so you can ride my Taurus whenever you'd like? Oh, so this is his Taurus? No reason why he shouldn't get to enjoy the island challenge too. I'll take that. Moora! I'll take care of all the little things you'll need in order to ride a Pokemon, James. So we got the Poker Ride, whatever it's called. Ride Pager, okay. Very cool idea that Game Freak had here. Why don't you hop on there? I mean, we do look like a dork with all the, um, like, riding equipment, personally. Like helmets, shin pads, I mean, safety first and all, I guess. Especially on a Toro, so you won't want to come off that, but we don't look that stylish. The world looks a bit different from atop of my Tutoros, eh? See, James? Here in Alola, our Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride about on them. Let me explain some of the gear I gave you. Oh no, this is Hala. I thought this was how. You ride pager. It's a tool that lets you summon a ride Pokemon. According to the instructions, you need only press the Y button. Okay. How you know buttons is beyond me. And your riding wear will be the special outfit you wear when riding Pokemon. Have a little romp around Alola with Tauros here. I'm sure you'll be charmed by him. Okay, basically it's just a tutorial, so you can use the Y button to bring out any of the Pokemon 
uh, you want to ride with. Congratulations, James. I hope you find your ride pager useful. I worked on developing it with a friend of mine. You developed this? Fair play. Pretty smart. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z power. Let's have a Pokemon battle when next we meet. Very well then. Off on your island challenge you go. May the future bring you happiness. I hope so. But it already has. We've got Cyndaquil. Alright, James. With a little help from Tauros, you can smash right through those big rocks on Route 1. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. We can get Rockruff now. In full swipe. Brilliant. Um, we will get a Rockruff, I think. So I might end it here before we go to Second Island. And get Rockruff at the start of next episode. I think that would be a great way to start the episode. So they're going to get the boat ready. I think Liz Lily's going to help clean it, bless her. Um, I actually wanted to ask a favour of you first, James. If that's alright. Sure, what is it? You see, Nebby is... Its real home is far away from here, and I want to help it get home. It's like I told you before, Nebby saved my life once when I was in trouble. Now I want to save it. I feel like there's not much I can do on my own, since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. But if I had a real trainer like you helping me, James, then maybe... But I probably shouldn't ask a near stranger to help, right? I know it's just my own wish and it has nothing to do with you. Of course we'll help. We're not going to leave Lily, we actually like her. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I really didn't know what else to do. Then I suppose the two of us will be heading to the next island as well. That's what I really like about Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's, you kind of technically have a traveling companion, which I've always wanted. Because obviously you watch the anime and Ash travels with like Misty and Brock and May, Max and all the others basically. Um, and Serena. Uh, if I didn't say Serena, I think someone in the comments would butcher me. But um, I always wanted someone like that in the game. Just like have companions go with you. And it's kind of like that. So, definitely one of my favourite parts of Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, what we're going to do, guys, we're probably going to end the episode here. And then we're going to start with a rock rough. So, if you did enjoy the episode, guys, leave a like down below. Really, really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with everything Pokemon Sun and Moon, then hit the subscribe button down below. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you on the next video. Peace!